Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, a precious opportunity for us to take time out to listen to the Bible and to hear what God has to say to us. Luke chapter 2, verse 19. Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. This sentence is what I would call a piece of considerable understatement. Mary, who was probably a teenager and who almost certainly knew very little about the world, has just given birth to the Messiah. She's certainly been given to plenty to think about. Older versions of the Bible translate this verse as Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The truth is that no one, however old or mature, could possibly have taken it all in. What had happened to Mary was a turning point in human history and stands at the centre of God's loving plan for his world. No one could have claimed to have fully understood what had happened and theologians 2,000 years later are still reflecting deeply on it all. So Mary was wise to ponder. There is much that we understand about our world but always much that is beyond us. When we see the wonders of creation, we can offer a description of what we see, but we'll never be able to describe completely its beauty and intricacy. When we see the way in which God works in our lives, there is much that makes sense, but always some things which puzzle us and which leave us with big questions. Like Mary, it's good for us to keep pondering. To do that, we need to allow ourselves space to reflect. It's so easy to get sucked into a life of relentless activity. I believe God wants us to give ourselves the space to reflect deeply. In some traditions of the church, the idea of retreat is very important. A retreat is a time to stand back from life, away from home, where we can give unhurried time to listen to God. In a world that encourages us to race through our lives at a breathless pace, we need to learn from Mary's example and ponder. Let me pray with you. Loving Lord, help us to listen more carefully to your voice. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a great day and will join me for Be Still and Know every weekday here on Premiere.